This is video number three on interactive isometric drafting. In this problem, there are two solids placed one above the other. Bottom one is frustum of hexagonal pyramid and top one is a cylinder. First construct the bottom face of the frustum which is a hexagon of sides 30 mm. Then draw a horizontal diagonal like this. Then scale this hexagon with copy button on to construct another hexagon of sides 20 mm. Then join the corners of the two hexagon to represent the slant edges of the frustum. Split and trim the lines wherever necessary. Then project the points to construct the front view for this. Height of the frustum is given as 60 mm. So at a height of 60 mm, top face of the frustum is drawn like this. Then complete the projections like this. Darken the visible lines in the top view. We need to construct an extra line for the bottom face of the frustum in the front view like this. It's constructed now. Now darken the visible lines in the front view. Change the line type of the axis to chain line. Show the height of the frustum. This completes the front and top views of the frustum. Now we have to draw the cylinder on top of this. In the top view, cylinder looks like a circle and circle is of diameter 30 mm. So draw the circle of diameter 30 mm at the center of the top view. Draw the projectors from this circle ends to construct the front view for the cylinder which will be a rectangle on top of the frustum. Split the line if required like this. Draw the axis line for the cylinder. Make the visible lines dark in the front and top views. indicate the height of the cylinder. Observe in the question it is asked to draw the top and front views of the combination by keeping the base edges of the first term parallel to VP. That is what we have done so far. Now we have to construct the isometric projection for the combination. For that we need to enclose the outer hexagonal shape inside a rectangular box like this. Find out the dimensions required to construct the isometric view. Construct the isometric view for the bottom face. Construct a diagonal line to find out the center of the bottom face and from the center you draw the height of the frustum. Copy the hexagon from bottom face center to top face center. Scale down the top hexagon by a factor 2 by 3. 
join the corners to draw the slant edges scale down the entire figure by a factor 0.8164 construct the bottom face of the cylinder separately by using force center method Construct a line to represent the height of the cylinder 40 mm. Now make a copy of the bottom face which is ellipse and move it onto top face center. Draw tangents to the ellipses at the ends. Scale down the entire figure by a factor 0.8164. Now move the entire cylinder from its position and place it on top of the rustrum at the center. Start darkening the visible edges from the topmost face. Show the isometric angles. Yes, now that is a completed solution.